So do you eat snacks? Sometimes I may have a granola bar or crackers, but sometimes I have junk food. Can I have junk food? So you may be able to do a small amount of junk food. You'll have to check and see how many carbs are in it. Um, if they fall within your amount for a snack, then it's okay to maybe do a small amount. But it's not something you want to do every day at every snack because we want to make sure you get good nutrients for you and the baby. Okay, so not very often, and when I do, small amounts. Right. So um, let's talk about the snacks. You said you might do a granola bar. Or, or crackers. Crackers. Okay. Um, so for a snack, you need two servings or 30 grams of carbs, just like breakfast. Um, so if we do um, a piece of bread, that's one serving. Um, the crackers, depending on how many crackers it is, is it like a pack of crackers? Yes. Um, you can look on the label and see if it's within the 30 grams, and that's fine to do. Um, so you get two servings, and then it's also good to add some protein with it. Um, the protein kind of sits in your stomach a little bit longer, makes you feel full for longer. So let's say you do want to do a sandwich. Your sandwich has bread in it. That has carbs, two servings. But then if you add like meat or cheese, um, both of these have protein, but no carbs. So again, you've got your two servings and then some protein. So when should I eat my snacks? With diabetes and pregnancy, we want you to eat at least every three to four hours. If you get hungry before that, you can eat every two hours. And in pregnancy, especially at the end, you might want to do that. Um, but yeah, the more consistent you are with your snacks and your meals, the more consistent your blood sugar will be. If you go too long without eating, um, sometimes your blood sugar can drop too low. Or if your body doesn't get the sugar from your food, the body may try to make the sugar, and that could send your blood sugar too high. Okay, so what if I've had my snack and I'm still hungry? Right, great question. So um, you can add more foods with protein. So like you could do nuts, um, you could do peanut butter. Some people like apples with peanut butter or bananas with peanut butter. So then you have your carb, but you also have the protein. The protein sits in your stomach longer, makes you feel full for longer. So then you feel full and don't have to eat as often or more carbs. Can I have a snack at bedtime? Yeah, and we actually want you to have a snack at bedtime. We don't want you to go too long from dinner till breakfast the next morning. So like if dinner is at five and breakfast isn't till eight, that's a long time without eating. So if you get a, a snack in at bedtime, that can help with your blood sugar too. And again, you just wanna make sure it has something with protein and then something with carbs. So like cereal and milk, they both have carbs, but the milk has protein too. Okay, so I need to follow my two carb rule. Right. Eat every three to four hours mm -hmm. and bedtime snacks are okay. Yes, absolutely. Great.